Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map for console. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to West Newton Farm. This is a new map to console. I think it's been out on PC for a few months now. It is by NM Modding on the mud, mud mod hub. It says, "Welcome to West Newton Farm." This is a map based in Ayrshire, Scotland. This map is a real-life area in Ayrshire, Scotland, which has been adapted to suit FS19. This map includes all Farm and Simulator 19 features, custom-made models based off of the real area. Full season support with brazen, so it is seasons ready. Custom lighting with thicker clouds and bluer sky. Animated objects, custom grass texture, custom traffic, custom distance texture, four farms, two grain cell points, biogas plant, dairy, sawmill, and egg cell points. Over 110 fields, all of varied sizes. Custom transport missions and field contracts on most fields so where do we start we start up here which is our farm I'm on new farmer mode so we start off with fields one two three seven eight just up there and field 38 up the top here just while we're there up by field 38 is your farm silo it's the only farm silo on the map when you start um, field prices aren't too bad you've got some that are on their own like 64 that was a good start clicking on that one because they're very rare the single ones so that's just over 200,000 41 on its own 131,000 but most of them come in blocks of two three some of these smaller ones are a block of three oh that's quite expensive just for three small fields I would say that's not that much smaller than that um, yeah so then most of them are in blocks you've got a forestry area there which is 415,000 the biogas plant is down the bottom here, which isn't too bad. That's just over 97,000 to buy. Um, this area here, you start off with owning it on New Farmer. But if you was to buy it on the other two modes, Farm Manager will start from scratch. It's going to cost you zero there, you can see down the bottom. So that could help you when it comes to putting placeables down or maybe if extending some of your fields if you can up on our farm we've already got chickens there a chicken pen uh, a main cow barn and we've got a cow pasture here there is other animal pens dotted around the map which we will cover a bit later but you have got access to all of them you don't have to own them can put things down so you've got horses there come down here you've got sheep which is this what another one of the four farms so that's two farms as well as ours over here is a pig farm so that's another farm available there's another cow pasture there and then up the top which is the fourth farm you've got two sheep pastures like I say we will cover all that area in a minute so one thing I will point out is this is where you start this is your sleep trigger now for starters it doesn't actually show you on the map normally you get the like the little house symbol there's nothing there to show that you have a sleep trigger but this is it and this is the only one which could be a problem for some people because 
you cannot sell it you cannot sell any of your animal pens that you own so in other words you're not going to be able to place another sleep trigger anywhere else which is a shame because as we go around the map some of the other farms in my opinion are probably a better looking and set up than this one so that's one issue i discovered <coughs> Anyway, let's go into the main farm area. I mean, it's got a really good look to it, this map. And what I do like is this distance texture. When you look out over any of these areas, it doesn't just stop. I know that a few maps have been doing this now, but it's just a great feature in my eyes. Anyway, so let's go and have a look in here. This is your workshop. There's your header for your harvester. A lovely little fire there to keep you warm while you're working on your machines because it will be cold up here in Scotland. Back round into the farmyard. It is quite tight, but you know it's going to be one of those maps where you're not going to get away with the big machinery so a storage area with some of your equipment already in there in fact while we're talking about equipment let's show you what you start off with so you start off with a voucher A114 a Holland T6175 TX32 combine lizard pickup TX32 header, a cedar, an additional seed tank, a sprayer, a small mower, a wind rower, baler, a feed mixer wagon which is quite good for your cows obviously, a water tank, a livestock trailer which is quite a nice touch having that added, front loader with some front loader attachments and your header trailer so like I say on there there's nowhere where your farmhouse is showing so you're not going to be able to sell the farmhouse none of the animal pens that we already own so none of them can be sold so just bear that in mind now if you do start off in any of the other two modes farm manager will start from scratch you start with exactly the same equipment you just won't own any of the fields so it starts off with all that it's 651 slots so again that will be across all three modes but if you sell everything you can get that down to 474 slots which is quite good I mean I don't think 651 is too bad anyway to start with you got some good starting equipment to get you going because, like I say, with the bigger machinery, although that's high, that's not very wide. So, you know, these are things you've got to bear in mind when you're playing on these sort of maps. We've got a fuel tank there, a water tank there, and all the other farms, which you'll see later, have got both of those on them as well, which is quite good. This is your main cow barn, so you've got your animal dialogue box there where you can select it and buy your cows. They've come in here, some of our equipment here. This is a nice touch, I like that. Look, some of it's your equipment's already dirty, so you're not starting off with gleaming machines, it looks like it's been used. So you feed triggers in here as well as your water trigger now i did some testing before i start recording this i backed in there which if obviously if you've got a bigger trailer it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge but i backed in there and the feed and the water trigger is in here the only thing i found with the water trigger was as soon as the trigger come up i started unloading the water and then it stopped sort of halfway through and I just had to pull forward just as it 
you know, the slightest, probably a couple of inches, if that, for it to come back up and then go again. But still, in here, this is your straw trigger. I found that in there. So you tip into there because I thought that's like a little grill area there. But that is where your straw trigger is there. If we come round here, I don't think those bells, you can use them. I think they're just for decoration. Come round here, I thought, oh, this is quite cool. Little area to store bells or smaller machinery. If you don't put anything in there, because that is where your manure comes out. If you put anything in there, it's going to get covered in manure, which I'm guessing is what the grills are underneath it drops through but weirdly enough all your food and your water's up there for your cows but if you buy any cows they appear in this field here so i don't know how they get their feed or water from there and when i did buy some cows there was a poor little soul left up there on his own, just facing the wall. Whilst all the others were out here having a party, so I'm not too sure about that. But originally, like I say, because before I'd done my testing, I came round, I thought this was the manure. But if you come into here, you got your chaff level and your compacting percentage there, so that's your bunker silo. Again, you've got various bits of equipment dotted around your yard. More storage in here with some of your equipment, which is quite good. All of these sheds have got lights in. Now, a nice little touch here as well. These aren't decoration. So both these pallets of seeds you can use. I've tested it. You've got liquid fertilizer there and you've got some herbicide there. So you know you've already got a few things to start with in place and i'll come back out of here so that's that little area oh sorry i forgot that slurry slurry pits there i'm not sure what that does there i think it's just for decoration as well but you know it does feel nice nice little map it feels real none of these you can't like I say that's the only sleep trigger back there here's your chickens so if you come into this box there open up your dialogue you can buy your chickens from there and they appear in there now this is your feed trough for them that's your only way in that is small <laughs> one I tested I did earlier I did cheat and I came in through the hedge with a trailer reversed up and tipped in there and accepted it but I mean there's going to be things that you can get in there with I don't know you might be able to sit out here with a telehander and squeeze out with some big bags you might get attracted of I don't know anyway your eggs will spawn out here in this box as well that's already been tested so let's have a little drive around the map to show you <clears throat> but there is you'll see as we go around the map there's some lovely little touches this is the first one obviously have some work done on our phone lines because I'm starting to think that I should phone that number because I don't know where they've gone maybe they've gone for some breakfast but you can actually go up that ladder <laughs> I'll probably get told off if they come back so yeah, just little touches like that. I love it when maps have got that. So anyway, we'll come along here. 
to the first of the cow pastures which is one we own but like I say you don't need to own any of the animal pens so your dialogue box is right there by the gate you can buy them this will hold 150 cows and you've got your water trough there and just over in the distance there you've got your feed trough or feed ring whichever's you know you call it jump back in and then we're going to head down I'll just show you quickly on the map it's quite hard to see any of the roads but basically it does sort of a loop around the map and then back up anyway that's just me waffling up we'll, we'll go around we'll have a look I did notice on all these little lanes which most of the map is you don't get any traffic coming through you've just got like a main road down the bottom which is where your traffic is so let's jump out here come round this is where you can get your horses and they appear in there that will hold eight horses so again your water trough your feed trough so this isn't one of the other farms but it's a little area these doors don't open there again you've got plenty of storage in different places there's a workshop there again more storage spaces again water and fuel if you need it so we have come from our farm across to that cow pasture we're now down there now we're going to carry on down to the first of the sale points which is an egg sale point Ludoon Lodge I've probably said that wrong Ludoon Ludoon but yeah if you zoom out a little bit oh not like that just got a nice you know distance everywhere I just like that now road does fork off to the right here so let's remember that because I'll show you that in a minute but we're gonna go this way first of our sail points which like I say is just eggs which is just there so if we go on a sail point we are at Ludoon, Ludoon Lodge which is just an egg sail point again that's quite tight so if you're coming down to sell your eggs I don't know what you're going to turn up in but <laughs> you need to remember that again just little features like that there weak bridge coming up and if you thought that was tight that there you wait until you see this there's a little bridge look how tight that is I don't think you're going to get a combine along there that's nice, nice little stream or river going underneath. I presume that sign says the same, yeah. But we even on some of the lanes and the roads you have got the trees overhanging but it, it's it's not dark. Some maps you get like this and, and it's really dark. I remember playing on Marwell Manor which I did love that map but driving along some of it it just felt really dark turn that engine off now this is 
the first of our farms yeah this is where the sheep pasture is fuel water again animal dialogue box just by the gate as on most of them so you can get your sheep from there Whoop. again inside water and your feed trough is there what I did find when I did my testing earlier is it did allow me to load that up from this side so I just backed the trailer up into here just to save you trying to you know squeeze through there and on the angle I think that is mainly just for the sheep to come in so you can load that up from out here which is quite handy wall spoint spoin spawn point is there oh I've missed the door there again plenty of storage space all around the map again they've all got lights on come around the back it's just a little area around the back Two more doors there. Lots and lots of storage. Lovely little farmhouse there. That's why I was saying it. It's a shame that you're just restricted to that one farmhouse back there. Again, another workshop. You do do your work on a little storage area there, maybe for bells or smaller machinery yeah, that farmhouse it's, but there's some lovely the, the details the, the stones for the you get a lot of farms and farmhouses in the UK like that and the stone walls all around the fields and the hedges it's, it's brilliant so this is birch head farm that's right, I remember, because when you put sheep into that pen, they come up on your menu as birch heads sheep. I was going to say sleep, then I can't talk properly today. Um, more storage in here. Little bunker sort of things, areas there for any loose crops, if you've got any. So that's that farm. I'll come out of there. Just down the road on the left is uh, another cell point, which again is just eggs. So if we come here, this is Woodhead Cottage. Again, just eggs. So we've come down from Ludoon Lodge down this way. To Woodhead Cottage, and we've done the sheep's uh, sheep farm there. I'm going to head down to the biogas plant, and then we'll come down and across to these two cell points there. So it is, it is kind of like a not a one-way sort of system, but it's not got loads of tracks. Um, darting off from the other ones apart from that fork back there that we could have taken there's not a lot not a lot of roads about so this is your biogas plant it's your digester nice easily tip into one maybe a little capacity gauge there this is where your digestate would come out Two bunker silos, quite big. I do like that barrier coming up and down, that's quite cool. So we'll carry on further down. And like I said before, nice little touches on this map. This to the left is very cool. So 
we just stop there we have got Ludoon show so it's a little show for the agricultural industry and we've all we've got different stands for different manufacturers we've got a John Deere's there fence Lemkin Amazoni or Amazon cows on show whether they're there to be bought you know it's just quality look it's a nice little touch it's like a proper little spring summer show cars just dotted about John Deere sat out here probably a farmer just drove down there in that and look, some of the sale points I like as well I've got these signs road signs so which is quite a nice touch I've got to make sure I don't get run over it so let's move along now to the first of our main sale points again look, the road signs telling you where your sale points are so Ayrshire Dairy coming up and Ayrshire's finest grain so we just put in here just up the back here is the dairy obviously just for your milk that is and this is your main sale point or one of them so we're at Ayrshire Dairy which is there just does milk and also in here is Ayrshire's finest grain which does all your main standard crops and also yeah they take manure here as well which is quite quite good so if you don't, can't afford the biogas plant straight away you could get rid of your manure there <coughs> so we'll come back out of here and go left towards the little village there's a little town village just up in front of us That's what I have noticed with the traffic when you are down here. It looks like that they're on sort of a track. See how watch look how it jolts. Where that road there, it's not like a smooth bend, it's like you can see it sort of at an angle. I know that's just me being picky, but it's just something I spotted earlier. You got a little housing estate there. like that jerked over that little ramp there so this is the little village town of Ludoon please drive carefully through the village I will you got a cash point here another thing I did notice if you're not Oh no, I thought I said mace. I was going to say that is very like you get a mace store over here. It's very much like their logo. There's a old, nice little church there. Sorry, I went a bit too fast then. So if we turn in here, this is going to be the second one of your main sale points, which is shop. Not to be confused with the actual shop have a look on our map so we came from Ayrshire Dairy and Finest Grain across there through the town so yeah we're at shop which is your other main sale point also we've got the sawmill and then that is your shop to buy your equipment so we look on there there's the shop that's all your main crop types 
they do actually take a few extra look you can do eggs and milk here which is quite good and then while we're there we've got a sawmill next door to us which we will go to that's obviously just for your timber and your wood chips oh that's terrific driving well done so around the back here just up there wood supplies I wonder what they do here so your timber and your wood chips you can sell there what happened there and this is your shop now is another little issue odd well issues a bit harsh I suppose so workshop there customize and obviously it's where you'd sell your equipment which we all know you get more for if you bring it here this door does not open this door is a lot bigger than this door look how narrow that is so if you're coming in to sell equipment let's just turn that off as well if you're coming in to sell equipment that's going to be quite tight it's doable but it's tight now another thing I um, noticed earlier in my testing is I leased a trailer and it spawned here but it was a fair bit off of this wall and it made it very tight trying to connect up to it here so I almost had to come in on the angle back in on the angle and then pull round and out so you know if you're going to get larger machinery but then again you're not really going to be able to use larger machinery on this map your reset point which I actually did forget to say about this is your shop which you can go in and buy all your equipment your reset point is back up at the main farm I'll quickly show you is I reset a tractor and a trailer and they kind of appear here inside feel free i think there's a gate just there and they appear just inside there when i went to get those two items that i reset the tractor and the trailer the trailer was on its side so that could be something that needs to be addressed but luckily as i hooked up to it with the tractor it did flip the trailer back over it didn't flip the tra uh, tractor over anyway just little things that I've noticed I'm not having a dig at anyone but I say it's a fantastic little map so we're gonna come out of here again little features look speed cameras unfortunately they don't work I did go through there a bit bit of a speed and they didn't work again I need to show you that because again that's probably just me being picky I know it is look at that it just sort of comes along and then you can see it's two separate bits and it just juts up it's not really smooth is it if you would put to landscape that track in yourself you'd make sure it was smooth all out nicely but it out trying to do a review on the map so I've got to do my honest opinions on these things so if we come up here now you remember me saying about the fork to the right in the road that is where it leads to can't see it comes down here so we're now going into the pig farm <coughs> Again, it just it just does look all lovely, nice map. I like it. 
So, Blackthorn Farm, which is where our piggies are. Again, water and fuel. Another workshop. Another little, nice little house, which you can't do anything with. More storage area, either side. Up to the gate again is your animal dialogue where you can buy your pigs from. <coughs> now, one thing I did notice as well, I've come in here and I thought, that gate's gonna be a problem. So I had to come in here earlier to feed the pigs. I come in round here, which again, it's not a problem. But it is, if you're trying to play real and you've got pigs everywhere, trying not to run them over. So you got your water there and your feed trough there. Now the straw trigger appeared roughly around there I think for me but I came in with a trailer full of straw. I had to shut this gate so I could come forward enough to activate that. So again it's going to be tight but that's one of the problems you're going to have to face in maps like this. Slurry point, point, pit, manure pit. And that is the pigs. Oh, sorry, they hold 500 pigs. Apart from the two cow pastures, which both hold 150, and of course the horses, which hold eight, which I've already said, all the other animals, 500 capacity. will come on to later so again come back out of here I could have been naughty and cut across the fields but I won't because this is the way you're gonna have to be going if you do play it well unless you do wanna cool that come up quick So we're going to carry on through down here now, across the main road. We'll overtake him. Got a petrol station here. Again, nice little touch. And it's very although they're obviously not allowed to use it it's very shell garage type because I'm sure shell sell V power 112.9 for diesel that's cheap anyway that's your petrol station or gas station if you want to call it that but we are in Scotland Now that road just runs out there, but we want to be going up here now. So, so far we've sort of done a bit of a, a U-shape from our main farm. Again, you don't get any traffic coming up around here. And most of the stuff is quite spaced out so it feels like you're actually happen to go around the map to see things which is quite cool which I like in here we've got a bit of a forestry area it's big enough to chop down a few logs I won't go all the way in. So again, you know, it's got a bit of forestry for you if you want it. It's got a little bit of everything. There you go, look. 
little sign up, wall sale point, so this is going to be our spinnery. This is also the animal dealer. When I first come in here earlier, I came into here and I thought, I had deja vu, I thought, where have I seen this, let's turn that off, this area here. I feel like I've, I've been here on another map or I don't know maybe I watched the map tour of the PC version but I don't know why I would have watched that because I only play on console but anyway weird deja vu this is your trigger for your animal dealer where you can buy your animals over here is your cell point for your wall so we've come from the shop oh I didn't want to do that we've come from the shop area we did the petrol station oh no sorry we did the shop area we come round we done the pigs we came back We've done the petrol station. This is the track that we went up just now. See again, look, you can't see that track very well. It kind of starts appearing there. We did a little bit of the forestry area there. We're now in there. Spinnery and animal dealership. We're going to come up to another cell point, which is the abandoned farm barn. Oh, also, there's no hedge collisions. So, if you did want to be naughty and cut across the map, you can do if you're not playing very realistic. tip in there look so this I wanted to go and I'll tell you what we we'll leave the truck here and we're walking again there's another water point there I can't see a fuel point oh well there's a cell point there that's going to be for your bell so at the abandoned Barn Barn, which is the top one. That's just going to take all your bells. You could even sell it loose in there, so your silage, grass, hay, and straw. Is there another? Is there a fuel? I don't think so, because that's quite tight coming through there. Ah, oh dear. That doesn't look good, does it? That's going to cost you. So we'll jump back in the pickup. And head on up. So up here is your other cow pasture. Just there. Again, up to the gate. Your animal dialogue box comes up. Water trough. And then, there we go. Feed ring there. Again, that holds 150. So we come from the abandoned farm up this track and out the cow pasture. If we carried on across there, you'd end up back at your main farm. But we're not, we're gonna carry on up here. 
this is another sell point for your bells and your loose straw yeah this way actually this is where you want to go that's very colourful isn't it so just in here You have a sale point for your bells, so a storage yard barn, which is just near the bottom. Again, just for your silage, grass, hay, and straw. And like I said right at the start of the tour, there's your farm silo, which is just over here. So drive in and tip. And that's where you'd collect it from it only holds um, your main crop types but it has a capacity of 500,000 litres there's a little bit more storage area up here if you wish to use it come back out and down here and we'll go to the last of the four farms and in my opinion this is probably the best looking farmhouse on the map which again is a massive shame because you can't do anything with it what does that say there Caution, tractors turning. We will be very cautious. So, in here. More storage. Just a drive through one. And we've got another workshop. So, here we are. There at Alton Barn. Lovely big farmhouse. You just can't do anything with it. Nice stonework to it. That's my favourite one. Fuel there. More storage area. Another sale point there for your bells. Aldrin Burn Farm Barn. That's a mouthful. Which is up the top, scroll along again, that's just for your bales and your loose silage, grass, hay and straw. First are your two sheep pastures, again up to the gate, dialogue box will come up. Like I say, this will hold 500 sheep. You've got your feed trough there and your water trough there come back out <coughs> come down so we looked at that garage I think those are just for decoration I don't think you can a lot of rubbish there isn't there? this is your wall spawn point Oh, why am I struggling to say that today? This is for both of the pastures, so all your wool will appear there. There's another water tank there. Come up to this gate again. Buy your sheep there. And then you've got your feed trough, water trough there. Again, this holds 500 sheep. So, we come out of the storage yard barn and silo area along here. This track doesn't go anywhere. If you were to come back down here to there and across, you'd 
come back at the main farm. So you can't really go f unless you made your own tracks, I suppose, through the fields if you've owned them. So that is about it, I think. I'm just checking my notes just in case I've missed anything. I'll tell you what I will do. Let's jump out of that just because I missed it at the start. And we will zoom in and we'll reset this pickup. So that, there you go, see? Build three. Back at your main farm. Respawns in the field. Which I imagine would be quite funny if you change this from grass feed to something like corn and it was fully grown you'd have to fight your way through there to find it still that is it for me I hope you've enjoyed this video oh did you see that the wind rowers fell over oh I don't like it I think his farm's possessed. Anyway, that is actually it for me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Because I will be putting some more out, hopefully very soon. This was my first ever video I've done on YouTube, so... I hope it was okay. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.